So behind me is Britain's newest railway station, that is Headbolt Lane, which we will look round in a moment. But my day didn't start here, my day started back in Wigan. Wigan Wargate to be precise. Good morning, uh, I love this station with the flower beds, planters down the middle. Although can somebody tell me what platform three down there is used for? Thanks. Uh, I await my northern correspondent who is coming in on the 1012 to Headbolt Lane, Britain's newest station 2579. That's the train we're getting to go and check it out. And out of interest, I bought my ticket from the ticket office this morning, because I like doing that, uh, but I thought I'd see if the northern ticket machine was up for the task, and it wasn't. So. Not actually possible to buy a ticket from the ticket machine here at Wigan Moorgate. Uh, our train will be here very shortly. Well, good morning. You're in the north again. This is mostly regular. All right, Carl, you're drawing me a map. So Wigan is there. <laughs> so, um, Kirby. Kirkby was there, uh, and then we are heading to Headbolt Lane, which so, is there. So this bit is northern. That bit, oh, hang on, that, I, need, that I, needed, bit is I, need, I need a blue pen. Trains used to terminate here at Kirby, yep. and now they terminate at Headbolt. At Headbolt Lane, where the new station is just under a mile to the east of Kirby Station, where trains used to terminate before. This means that Mersey Rail trains now have to go a little bit further than they used to, and the terminating northern trains don't quite travel as far as they used to to get to the new terminating station. Thanks for the map. Can I have a thumbs up, please? That's great. Hello. Guard just came down, yeah. checked tickets. He went, oh, so you're all going to Edbolt Lane, not Headbolt. I was, I was chatting to a driver on the platform, Walker, yeah. and he also said, Ed Bolt. So, is it a Wigan thing? You drop your H's? Um, would would you, you drop your H? Yes, quite frequently. <laughs> so, how would you say Ed Bolt? Ed Bolt. Apostrophe E A D <laughs> Bolt Lane, yeah. Brilliantly, Carl and I have just met a gentleman on the train called David, um, who I'm going to have to interview for reasons that will become apparent yeah. in a second. Yeah. Couldn't make it up. Oh, and Ed Bolt Lane, here we go. Pulling in, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in, pulling in on our right here. Morning. Hello. Does it have a bin? Does it have a shop? Does it have a bike rack? Quick. I, well, I don't know. <laughs> All the I, things, Carl. All know. the things. It's new. <laughs> Smell the newness. This is Kirby Mark II, isn't it? But I think with a better transition because remember Kirby, it was like a bit of a bit of a narrow walk through a, well, yeah, uh, a you, had under, you had to go under a bridge. Yeah. There's a road bridge. Well, we'll yeah. have a we'll look at Kirby. We'll see what's changed. Yeah. But it comes down here. There's like this fence here. It really is you shall not pass. There was a security guard saying, anybody for the Merseyrail train, quick, because it's about to leave, because they're hourly at the moment, which we will discuss. Yeah. But let's just focus on, it's a, it's a platform. It's a platform with buffers, shelter, and... Uh, the Merseyrail half I think that's the more interesting half, isn't it? Trip seven is there. Oh, look at this, double track buffers. That is about to leave. In fact, the doors are beeping now, but we'll, uh, we're gonna hang out here in Headbot for a while. Yeah, why not? And we'll get back on Merseyrail. Yeah later. Why is there this big black panel? Because you can't see through from one to the other. When you get off one train, you want to be able to see the other train that you're potentially connected yeah. to. Okay, shall we have a look around? Yeah, come on, some wonder. The new station. Yeah. I can see Carl puzzling over the bus times. Yeah. You're puzzling because they're every 15 minutes, aren't they? Well, they're the, every 15 minutes to Tower Hill. Yeah. The, the Mersey Rail trains at the moment, yeah. they're running once an hour mm. because they're battery trains. Have you seen the sign that says, not baby on board, batteries on board. Uh, uh, they're hourly just while they get them to all, they're just bedding it in. Um, okay. The 15 minute service will come here eventually, but at the uh, moment it's only every 15 minutes. Meaning there's a tight connection and an hourly service right. between Northern yeah. and Mersey Rail. But what, have, what else have we got going on here, Carl? We've got um, with a, a massive car park being built now. I think a couple of hundred cars. So that that says to me, park and ride. Okay, that's, that's park and ride kind of numbers. That is uh, that new. That's new over there. New housing estate over there. Um, we've got bus rail interchange. We like that bit of uh, integration. So yeah, you can easily see why Kirby Head. I'm calling it Kirby Headbolt Lane. Well, yeah. I, I've seen the signage yeah. already. Instead of saying Headbolt Lane, it's Kirby, Kirby H Lane. apostrophe. <laughs> So even yes. even the sign has gone with yeah. <laughs> Kirby Ed, Ed Bolt Lane. Yeah. So, so you can see why the station has been built. Yeah. 
Carl, what's that? You have a dislike of stations that are like something road or something yeah, lane. Yeah, it's just a thing. Because this area is actually known as sort of Kirby Tower Hill, but they've yeah. called it Headbolt Lane. What was the other one Why you were saying? Call it, call it Kirby Tower Hill then. Because Headbolt Lane, it's like Headbolt Lane, where's that? Not a clue. So my home station for 20 odd years, whatever it was, Mulder's Road, should be called Lady Barn. Mulder's Road, where's that? Not a clue. Lady Barn? That's where it is. Um, there's others as well, isn't there? I'll put them in the comments, there's tons of others. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a thing I've got. Also, yellow, 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 yeah, sort of Dijon yellow. mustard, yeah, do yellow. Want, do you yeah. want to sing Coldplay again? Man with the camera and a tripod. What were you saying, sir? All it's missing is a coffee shop. I really want a cup of tea now. Yeah. Bolt coffee. Bolt coffee? Hang on, why? Oh, oh I see head bolt. Okay. <laughs> Caffeine and head bolt station. What, what could be a better combination? One thing I do like about uh, Mersey Rail is they still use the old the RA1 rail alphabet, the original rail alphabet font. Font Not people. I'm looking at you, font. Mark Govenden, and double arrow dot co dot you say font people, do you mean, hang on, you mean typeface people? Sorry, Ooh. not font. Typeface. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, if you're watching. But yeah, I do, I do like that. Good right. old fashioned stuff. On the train here, something brilliant happened. We got chatting to David. David. I own a copy of his book in 2016, just before I set off on the Cotter Railway event of 2017, I bought a book of a gentleman that had been to every single station in the country, and you, you self-published a book. That's great, yeah. And that's you. What possessed you, and how long did it take you to tick off every single station? Um, it started when I decided that the first thing was to travel on every line, yeah. which uh, once I achieved that, I had a look, and I think I got <laughs> photographs of about seven or eight hundred stations, which were mainly the ones that were connected or at the end of a terminus. So the next, I thought I have a challenge now, I'll yeah. try and complete <laughs> all the stations. But it took you, what, eight, nine years, you were saying, on train? Overall, about that time, yes. Yeah, I would usually go perhaps one trip a week, okay. either locally or to London and Glasgow. In the towns like cities like that, you could perhaps do about 14, 15 stations in a day. Would you do it generally in the summer, not, not the winter? Especially when you got to go to Scotland. Um, yeah, I always, each year, got what was known as an all ride line rover for seven days. And including that, I would always go to Scotland um, on the overnight sleeper, sometimes stay in a hot, in a, well, a guest house in Scotland. And I would also do the same from um, Paddington the night in the area to Cornwall. Right. And that was a way of getting some of the branch lines there done. It's yeah, lovely it's, to meet you. Thank you so yeah, much. No, it's a pleasure. Nice right. to meet you. Yeah. Lovely to meet you too. Oh, it's David, everyone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Trains in. Hang on, there's a second one. Oh, that must be on driver training. Our train is here, but look what's happened. A test train has turned up, so... <laughs> Whilst we're here, there is a train on platform one, on platform two. They're both saying not in service. This one is definitely the 11.39, about to leave in three minutes, and it will head down to uh, Liverpool. But look, two trains in. We're getting on. We are getting on. Go on in. Let's go. All right. Quick. <laughs> okay. yeah. This is battery, right? This bit. I left my double A's at home. Is it, is there a, you didn't is bring there a, a pack of double A's. Is there a flap to somewhere? Put four double A's. Yeah. In? When the trainer came in, I was expecting the driver to like plug in the USB. <laughs> no. um, it's going to run on battery power. Uh, it's only just, it's 1.3 kilometres, 0.8 of a mile, I think, down to Kirby, all on battery. But in the same way that um, if a train's got a pantograph, it kind of raises up here. The shoes actually physically move up and down. You hear them go. go so do, we get, do we get a bit of a jolt then? But I'm assuming that when we leave now, it won't. You'll be very quiet. Be like an electric car, just kind of going. What's happened? The northern train's 17 minutes late, so I don't oh. think we'll be connecting. So it's a good job we arrived on the 10.38 and not, not the 11.38. I think so, yeah. All right, so we should be departing any second now. The Which light's gone, we're about to leave. Carl, mm -hmm. got to be the, uh, how noisy is the train? Oh, it sounds like one of those electric cars you can get. Very quiet. God, yeah. So we're all on battery right now. Yeah. So we're just going to make a little stop at Kirby. Mm -hmm. Yep, someone knows it. See what's changed.
Right, we're at Kirby. There's the station. This is all, that looks a bit new. That looks a bit new, but the thing to see is, ta-da, this bit. Gone. There, a gone. Little walk through the... There was definitely, then there was a narrow bit of platform there yeah. that you could walk through. Yeah. And the northern train... See the platform there? That's where it would, that's where the northern train used to terminate yep. with buffers. And they've built these tracks through. No third rail, because battery. Double A's. So we're back at Edbolt Lane. Now I'm happy. <laughs> I've <laughs> christened a little bit. Well, I didn't christen it, but that's. I feel like that's unusual. There are, by the way, two toilets. Don't I go in that one? So Carlster's has gone to the toilet, which are in there. It's got two toilets, which is nice. Uh, I just want to point out that on at Moorfields, on the dot matrix there, it definitely said Headbolt Lane via Kirby to make sure that you knew that the new destination was still going via Kirby. And on the train itself, on the 777, it said Kirby Headbolt, H apostrophe, Headbolt Lane. So here the station signs just say Headbolt Lanes, but they're squeezing in the word Kirby in other places just to uh, make sure you know where it is. So we're back at, where are we? Ed, Ed Bolt Lane without the H. You've said it correctly. Yeah, Ed Bolt Lane, yeah. uh, a random steward at every station has just turned up. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is us wrapping up and going. You've got to go, you've got to run. I've got to go, I've got to get on that northern train now back to Manchester, yeah. I like, out of all the new stations this year, this one has character because it has a proper station building yeah, with it's a ticket not, office. It's not identical, it's not Lego set, it's, it's, yeah, it's proper. It's, and because it's a right. unique yeah. situation, it has mm. three platforms, yeah. it makes it the best new station I, so far I'd say this year so. yeah. that's new to open. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Any, anything else to add? No. Nope. Do you want to sing yellow again? No, because I've forgotten the words. It was all yellow. It's all Mosera. <laughs> that's it. That's your new head bot lane station. I'm <laughs> saying it properly. See you in the next video. Yes, Whatever. you will do. Take yeah. care. Press subscribe. Cheers. Bye bye. bye. See ya.